Hi everyone, this is the second part of my video and this is using the um, vacuum chamber and I hope this takes this time because I actually didn't realize I turned off the recorder and kept on videotaping. So, this is the resin. I don't know if you can see, but it is filled with those little tiny bubbles that everybody hates. You probably can't see. Please excuse the desk. It's um, my husband's old painting desk. So, it's a mess. But anyway, this is the vacuum chamber. And I got it off of eBay. It was approximately, I think, $120 to ship. And I think it's three gallons. It has a little stand. And that is the vacuum chamber underneath the desk and my messy floor and all the cords. So that came from Harbor Freight and that was, I think, $89. Um, and down inside the chamber, I just have pieces of wood to reduce the amount of like area it has to suction. So I'm going to go ahead and set you down for a second and I'm going to put these in and I'll be right back. Okay, see the cup is in there. I've put the lid on here so this silicone rim is around the rim of the pot. And I'm going to open up the handle. This is on the off position. This is the on position. And I'm going to make sure that this is all the way tightened. And what you're looking for, you've got to watch that cup because you don't want it to overflow the um, cup when it bubbles. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the pump. Sorry guys. I have to do this without my tripod. It is loud. But um works. And your goal is to get this thing here to about 29 degrees of pressure. So. I'm just going to let you watch the process. It's so simple. I don't know why I didn't get this a long time ago. And it's nice and bubbling. And we are at eh, about 27. What you're going to see now is a really big drop. It's still going to bubble though. And it's still drawing bu bubbles. If I can look down in here for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's still drawing bubbles from the base of the resin and we are at 29 
So that's a perfect vacuum. And it's still working. You gotta know that you set your um, resin aside to um, degas itself on its own, but you still never get rid of every single like bubble. So if you spend five minutes or seven minutes on a vacuum chamber instead of having to wait, at least for me, that and then you get rid of everything that's worth the time and the pieces like I do, the ones with pictures and stuff, it really helps to be totally clear. Um, maybe one more minute. I normally use a slightly larger cup, but, and pour a lot more, but, just wanted to be able to show you guys this. Okay, I think we're done now. You turn off the handle, it's off, and then I'll turn off the vacuum chamber. Phew, I hear myself think. And this is the fun part. Watch the bubbles on top. And we're back down to zero. Let me take the lid off and... If you can see that. Completely clear. And I'm going to pause this and I'll be right back.